Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Northern Hero is here again. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, in the past month my videos have been taking a right long time to upload. Usually after, I've mentioned this before, but for my new subscribers, um, I've compressed, I have to compress the video from my camcorder um, because the file, um, my camcorder file, YouTube doesn't understand it. Although they've done a lot of updates in the past two years, so maybe I could just upload a video straight from my camcorder. But um, that would take a lot longer time, to be honest. So after after user come after compress the video first, and usually a ten minute video used to take about twenty thirty minutes to upload. Now it's taking over one hour, seventy five minutes, eighty five minutes. I'm like. Now, don't get me wrong. I think YouTube, if you you know if if you've had some copyright warnings on that, you can't upload videos as fast. Um, so I've had quite a few in the past copyright warnings. So I think maybe it might have to do might have to be something to do with that. Or it could be somebody hacking into the router, or the router, should I say, and um, doing doing something not nice. And even though that my router, my internet connection is passworded, there's still ways for the internet creeps to get around that even because I've got a security book and it does mention it um, so I have been thinking of doing bringing out another another Nero video channel out but I mean what's going to happen when it comes to me reviewing music and that I, li I like I like to have it on in the background um, plus it's album of the year in this coming November do you know I'm going to see what happens I'm going to leave it to December I then decide whether or not to shut down my channel or I might, I might leave it on actually I may start another one similar but um, because Every time I try to upload, it, it just takes ages, and sometimes, a few times, I've, I've had to leave my laptop on all night long, and it's not worth it. Carpet underneath gets quite hot. Um. So that's that. That's that story. Um, it's very annoying, you know, when you, you've done a video and you've got to wait absolutely ages until it uploads. Do you know what I mean? It never used to be like that. Um, there were a time last year when it happened a few times. And then it stopped happening and then in the last month or so it's continued um, I want to tell you a bit of a story that my mum witnessed to um, what's that? come on
I'm back. Just kicked cat out because it looked like it was gonna be sick, and I couldn't be bothered, you know, cleaning mess up at this time. A bit tired actually, so kicked it out. Let it puke outside. Um, yeah. The other day, my mum um, were telling some non-believers about Jesus, so that's fantastic. Um, a few Muslims, well, not just Muslims, but um, my mum says um, it started off because the woman behind the till in the shop um, kept saying, oh, there's no God, there's no God. So my mum says, um, you know, the, the Muslims was, were saying something back saying, yeah, you, you know, it's Allah and that. So my mum says to her, um, oh yeah, there is, there is a God, there's only one God. Now the woman was saying, oh there's loads of gods, there's millions of gods, we shouldn't have to believe in just one God and that, there's no, there's no big God at all. And then my mum says to her, you know, there is only one God and it's Jesus Christ. But my mum says she kept shaking her head, wouldn't have it. So the Muslims were earwigging and there says, give me, give, give us a scripture, give us a scripture. Jesus was just a prophet. It's Allah. <laughs> now, you know, you've got to be very careful and my mum was very brave. Because I don't think I could have done that. Um, but my mum did say, you know, look up Ian McCormack and Bill Weiss, two guys who have been to hell and that. And there were a lad in the shop, a young lad, you know, English lad. And he um, said to my mum, I'm very interested in what you're saying. Because it's a seed that gets planted. That's what it is. And that seed has been planted. My dad prayed for him and my dad felt an anointing when he prayed. Now I'm just going to pray right now. Lord Jesus, bring that young lad in that shop to you. I pray that he will approach my mum and he'll ask more questions. I pray for his soul. Work on that lad's life and I pray, Lord, to work on those other on those other lives in that shop the Muslims and that atheist woman that don't seem to believe in anything we've got to do our bit we've got to pray for people um, <laughs> so I think my mum we're doing that you know my mum might not be very um, great at reading, you know, remembering Bible scriptures and that, but my mum plants seeds, little seeds of faith and truth of Christianity to people, and those seeds should grow in the person's spirit.